Ramatula Jalo reports for GRT's Breakfast Show, and it's over to you, Tijan, at the studios. <laughs> Adulati landed herself in the history whilst she was at St. Augustine High. She was one of the five girls in a school that was slightly dominated by boys. To I thank God and thank my parents to help me become what I am today. As regards my educational background, I went to Mohammedan Primary School from primary one to six. Then I went to St. Joseph's High School from one to five. Then I went to St. Augustine's High School. Um, I did my primary school, uh, my, my, my O levels at St. Joseph's High School. And then I did my A levels at St. Augustine's High School. Fortunately, we were the first female batch of female, um, um, female students at St. Augustine's High School. Um, it was about five of us, five female at St. Augustine's High School because it was a boys' high school uh, during the time of Hadokov and we were welcomed and um, it was a pleasure being at that school it was some of the things i enjoyed most being five girls amongst um, thousands of male students it was a big experience for us and we got a lot of experience from them um, it was very challenging for us after that i joined gambi airways for about uh, 10 years when i was sponsored to go and do my first degree my my postgraduate diploma, which is like a master's degree in um, personal management. And after that, I came back and worked for Gambia Airways for another four or five years or so. Her achievements and her passion for fashion defies the imagination. If you think this is an achievement, then it's fine. I don't know. I just say... To us, we will put it as an achievement because there are a lot of people out there who don't have what you have today like uh, to have a saloon, a tailor shop, and also a travel agency, coping with all those things. How will you put them? How will you measure it? I don't know. The tailoring shop was initially, initially set up by my mom. She was a seamstress, and she brought me up into the industry. Eventually, I grew up loving having a passion for the fashion, and um, which is why I'm, I work hard on it. And which is why I'm able to design and do a lot of styles every day. And, uh, but do you sew as well? I do. I'm not a professional in it, like the tailors are. But I do sew, I know how to sew, but I do more of the design. Most of the time I do designs for my customers. And I design everything I wear, everything you see me wear, I do design for myself. Yes, I design my children's clothes, and I make sure I advise my husband as to what to wear. I can do all that. And, and this hair and dressing salon, the reason I opened it is because I, I know that um, hair and dressing goes with fashion. If I am able to sell textile, sell shoes and bags, go to Dubai and India and China, buy, buy shoes and bags for my clients, I can as well open a salon. And I knew because to dress them up, at least it's a one-stop shop for my customers. It was easier for my customers to come in, do their hair, buy shoes and bags, buy material, I do their sewing. They just dress up and I do wedding dresses for, um, for brides and grooms. They can also come in, choose their materials, I do their wedding dresses, sell them shoes and bags and then make their hair. And it's a one-stop shop, so it was not, it's not very difficult. Like most Gambian families, she grew up in a big extended family setup, which she still maintains. I'm married to a very modest and religious person. Okay, and how many children? About five children. One is in university in Canada, and five, four of them are around with me. My mom is dead. I have a, an extended family of brothers and sisters who are very supportive. I live with them, with all of them. I thank God for all that. And I have children that I've brought up. As you can see, it's a big family house. I have my business here and I live here, which is also very fortunate for me because I just come downstairs every day and do my work. I can stay late doing my work. My husband is very supportive. He comes down when I'm busy. He comes down to keep my company. I can I help my children do their homework here in the office. And... Um, Alhamdulillah, I thank God for everything.
Her mom's illness was the driving force behind her career and how she was involved in private business and fashion. Her mom played an important role in her career development. Fortunately, my mom was becoming very convalescent and sickly when I had to be, get more and more involved in her business with the tailoring industry. And then eventually I took over from, from, from her. For a woman who grapples with competing roles, the challenges could be overwhelming, if not frustrating at times. I got all this inspiration and zeal and dynamism from my mom. She had always been encouraging me to be strong. She has, she has been building me up to become a strong personality so that I can do anything. Because maybe she knew she was going to leave me alone and to take care of the family, my, my, some of, my, well, some of his, her family members and um, my own. But this, one of the challenges I face really is that I wake up early in the morning every day, take care of my children, send them to school, have to come down to work, and sometimes I work late and take care of my husband in the process, and then um, try to run all the different staffs, the different departments, the different businesses, which is the travel agency. I normally start up with this travel because we open at 8.30. I start off with our, the previous reservations we have, look at the system, check what is pending, and then um, move down to the detailers who have been here and would have been at work, check the administrative staff, the um, front desk staff at the, at the tailoring shop, make sure they give their the tailors their sewing, what they need to do. Some of, some, most of the time I do my designing at night. When I finish, I, because I think more at night. When I finish my prayers, I just start thinking about who I should design for, what to design for the, the client. And then in the morning I would give it to retailers. Sometimes I would stand when they are cutting up and then make sure it's, the measurements are okay. Then I would make sure that they are on their machines and help the supervise the, the, the staff, the admin staff to make sure that everything is fine. Come, if we have a client at the salon, because we don't have a client at the salon all the time, I also look at the hair and make sure I also supervise or help if, I'm a, if I am around in the salon. But apart from that, there's not much apart from getting tired at night. I get very tired. By the time I go to bed, I get very tired and I want to always keep up with my prayers, keep up with the, some of the, the, the salads and read my Quran. Sure that because my also my husband also teaches me Quranic at night and uh, I want to keep up with all that because I want to improve more and more like I say I always say um, I want to keep up more and more with, with, my, with, with, with my religion I want to know more of, more of Islam and um, I'm learning um, everything I have missed at childhood I'm trying to keep with up uh, keep up with so that too is. All that too is very tiring. By the time I get to bed, I get very, very tired and have to wake up the next day at 5 o'clock in the morning. It's not easy, but I do manage with the help of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, I manage with all that and I pray that I can keep up with it and bring my children up, keep up my marriage, and keep my work, and be able to support myself, my children, my family, and anybody that needs my help. As a mother, housewife, and entrepreneur, Adulet strives hard to fit into her various roles, which she says are really challenging and demanding. As a mother, a housewife, and a businesswoman, how do you take care of all these things? <laughs> like I said earlier on, it's a bit challenging. It is, it is challenging. It is. Um, it's very taking care of my children and my husband. I love them so much and they love me so, so so much. They do help me at home. My children help me. When we wake up in the morning, the first thing we do is our prayers, do our duas to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for an hour or so and then after finishing they will do their chores. I will tell the, the female I have one girl and four and yes and three boys, four boys. But one of them is I've, I've taken to Madrasa in two hours. She, he was named after Serin Mansursi, Baram Daraji. And um, fortunately for me, I, have the, I had the, the willpower and the heart 
knowing that one day he would finish and come back home.